Hello everybody, this is Howard the Teaser King coming to you with the 2015 College Bowls. I've been getting some requests to do this, so here you go. Uh, it's Tuesday night, uh, the Toledo Temple game just finished. I had the under 51, I cut it, I chopped it to 57. Had it with Western Kentucky over. That one was an easy over, and uh, so another W. Um, I'm noticing a lot of high scoring games so far even though this one went under the Toledo Temple you could have bet it over and why over 45 is a winner um, everything else looks like it's going over except for the San Jose State Georgia State game so just the trend to notice which is what I do best is notice trends um, I have a big 50 unit lock that half of it is a college game. The other half was the Carolina Panthers, which I've mentioned in earlier videos. So you get the second half. Uh, if you go to www.teaserking.com, you can buy all the locks or all the bowl games for 200. Um, gives you quite a few. I just have the one lock now. There's two other games I'm thinking about <clears throat> locking. And I got a lot of very good, strong games. But nothing that I really look at it and love and lock it. Uh, my lock record, I was 4 for 4 on this past weekend, pushing me up to now 45 and 4 the last 49. Good luck trying to beat that one, folks, because uh, I can't even believe what I've done. Um, it's all on my history page. Um, man, you can just look at my videos. There, you see the games on there uh, between the videos on YouTube and my website. You see the locks. Um, I'll have one. I have a one thirty. I think it's a thirty-five unit lock for this weekend. Uh, I just don't like the force locks. Basically, I look at the game, and since I've been doing this for so many years, I almost instantly know that's going to be my lock. Um, a lot of it's the matchup, and then a lot of it's the point spread. I've even been hitting these over-unders lately. Uh, two of my locks on Sunday were Carolina over and the 49ers under, and they both came in. Carolina very easy but it was a beautiful uh, matchup Carolina scoring 35 a game against the giant team that can score a lot without a defense it was like one of my college locks where you play like Baylor against TCU and you go great offenses not a lot of defense goodbye maybe more of a Western Kentucky or a Memphis I guess so if we look at some games I don't know what to do with this. Uh, we got 25 games here. Um, I'll break it down this week a little bit. Some of my <coughs> analysis. Uh, Bowling Green laying seven to Georgia Southern's an interesting game. Over under is 66. Bowling Green <coughs> laying seven. And one thing I do that. I think is a very smart thing is I look at the teams right Georgia Southern's a running team almost like a Navy Bowling Green is a passing team and they're a really good passing team the only loss they had was against Toledo a good defensive team I don't know that Georgia Southern's a very good defensive team against a team like Bowling Green here um, Bowling Green's only <coughs> lane seven just has to win the game um, watching Bowling Green a few games and just knowing them the game that attracts me here is the Georgia Southern Georgia State game Georgia State has quarterback Arbuncle and he's pretty good and he threw for like 300 yards against Georgia Southern and Georgia State killed Georgia Southern which was shocking and um, they really held him not a lot of rushing yards And I just see Bowling Green 
being able to throw the ball. I mean, if Georgia State got 300 yards on him, Bowling Green will get 500 yards on him. Um, I just think Bowling Green's a better team. I think they have the passing. Now, Georgia Southern's going to run, and we'll see what happens if they can run and keep the ball away from Bowling Green long enough. But I don't – Bowling Green handled Northern Illinois was a real very good defense. I just don't think Georgia Southern's defense is all that good. And if, George, and if Bowling Green jumps on them, puts up a 28, Georgia Southern can't throw the ball. It's just like Navy. They're just going to run the ball. Um, over, under, I don't know what Georgia Southern, I mean, if they really run the ball. They normally score a lot, but I don't know here. Uh, they probably will score in the, in the, probably in the 30s. But I think Bowling Green <coughs> laying the one is better than the over because I think with Georgia Southern running, they might try to keep it a lower scoring game. Bowling Green, I think, ends up getting the win because they're only laying the one. And no matter what, they'll be able to move the ball on Georgia Southern. It'll probably go over the 66, uh, tease it to 60, but I like Bowling Green laying one more. I just find it's a better play. Um, Washington State laying two and a half to Miami of Florida. Excuse me, I'm trying to keep my throat available. I look at this game, you got Kaya, good quarterback from Miami. They score a lot of points. Washington State. I don't care who their quarterback is. Their starters should be should be healthy and playing by now. But if not, the backup's fine. He's had a month of practice. <laughs> over, <coughs> over, under here at 62. So this is a game you could go, eh, you know, do I tease the dog? I think with two explosive offenses, um, I think I like over 56 here. I don't think 56 to me is not that big of a number in college between them stopping the clock for first downs and you know all this stuff they do and if it goes to overtime they score 100 points I just find that I, I like this over at 62 going to 56 you got Washington State will easily probably put up a 30 here or 40 <coughs> Miami should be able to put up a 30 I think it'll be a close game. I think you could possibly take Miami as the dog, but I don't really trust Miami in here to keep it close as much as I keep that they'll score. And Washington State, well, good. I don't think they have the defense to shut out Miami. Miami, I know, doesn't have the defense to handle Mike Leach. So I like this game over 56. I think that's easily a 70-point game here. Um, Virginia Tech lane 14 to Tulsa and everybody it's Frank Beamer's last game yada 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 didn't we just have somebody's last game uh, who was it BYU had their guy's last game and he's going to Virginia Bronco Mendenhall, Bronc Bronco Mendenhall. And they got down 35-0 in like five minutes. They ended up losing. So just because it's the coach's last game doesn't mean you blow out the other team. I look at the matchup always, and the matchup here I like. I think this line should be Virginia Tech lane seven. You lay 14. Way too much. <clears throat> I love Tulsa in 20 here. I think this is huge. I, they score. They played Oklahoma. They scored. I think they played either Baylor or TCU. <coughs> Tulsa can score. <coughs> Virginia Tech's defense really doesn't scare me. Their offense is not that strong. They don't score a lot of points. I don't know that Virginia Tech, well, against Tulsa, maybe they hit 30, and I got 20. It means I need 10 points from a Tulsa team that averages 50 that runs the Baylor offense. You're seriously gonna you're gonna you're gonna stop them for ten points? No way, impossible. Take Tulsa on the twenty. I know I'm really close to locking this, but 
I, I just I just don't know how strong Tulsa is. I mean, offensively, I know they're very strong. Um, so again, it's just it's close to a lock, but it's not. So this is the problem I'm having. Um, UCLA laying six and a half to Nebraska over under 61. Do I like UCLA even? <coughs> now they played a two years in a row. UCLA won both of the games. One at Nebraska, <coughs> then they went and played at <coughs> UCLA. The thing I noticed about Nebraska, they're an over team. They got a good quarterback in Armstrong. Weak defense. They can throw the ball. Um, they'll score in the 30s here. UCLA with Rosen. I wasn't really impressed with him against USC. I think he turned it over way too much with some pressure. Uh, not enough screen passes, I don't think, in that game. I think they put him under too much pressure. Nebraska won't do that. They don't have the defense. UCLA should be with Perkins and Rosen. They should be able to score on Nebraska 30 points easy. Uh, I, I just see this as a 70-point game, maybe an 80-point game. You got 61, I think go over 55. Um, 55 is 28-27. Both these teams will be well in the 30s here. Uh, Take it over. I don't see any issue with going over here. Uh, Minnesota Lane, 6th to Central Michigan. Um, over under 49. Central Michigan uh, has a really good offense. they got a really good quarterback. Excuse me, please. They have a really good quarterback. Minnesota's an okay team. They don't blow teams out. They're better at home. This game's not a home game. They're laying six. So I can take Minnesota even. Over under 49. I don't know where to go. Minnesota's pretty much a defensive team. Their quarterback's terrible, but they can score. They put up uh, 30 on Michigan, which I was shocked by. Uh, so they do have it. Central's defense uh, is, is, is pretty good for a MAC defense, but they're a very good balanced team, very good offense. I don't know what to do with the over-under 49 here. I guess because it's a bowl game, I'd be more apt <clears throat> to go over 43. But I honestly don't know. I don't think Minnesota's more of a defensive under team than a than an offensive team like a, like a Baylor. So I just look at this as a close game. I think Central has the quarterback and the offense to definitely score on Minnesota. Minnesota doesn't really put up a lot of points, so I, I like Central plus the 12 in this game. I think they uh, could win the game straight out, and I mean, I like dogs, and especially they have a good quarterback and a good offense and a good defense. I mean, they're not terrible, um, but by no means is Minnesota even a bowling green. They, their quarterback's not very good. Uh, Baylor plays North Carolina. I'm so confused on this one. Baylor's down to their third quarterback. Their 1,000-yard running back's out. A receiver's now out. North Carolina, very explosive team. But what do you do with this game? This game was a lock over when you first saw it, if everybody's healthy. If Seth Russell's quarterbacking and Lockwood's playing, this game's 120 points. Not even a sweat. I just don't know right now. Uh, over under a 68. North Carolina. I mean, Baylor's got a good defense. They really do. It's just they score so quickly. They run the no huddle. It really hurts their own defense because they never get the rest. But they do score a lot. Here, I'm not so sure. I like North Carolina when they were the dog, but now they've went to favorite. I'd love Baylor getting nine. If healthy, that would be a lock in a heartbeat. But I don't love their third-string quarterback. He's okay. He's had time to practice. And it's a system thing. 
I just don't know. I mean, I, I you know, Skip Lockwood's out there running back. Eh, I'm sure they'll have another running back. Every team has multiple running backs. Um, Baylor's receivers out. It's a real tough game. Um, I don't think you can go over with it. I, I honestly don't know what to do with it. I, I, I'm just trying to tell you to kind of stay away. The ordinary pick would be over by a mile, but just be aware of this. Uh, I don't really have a pick in it. I, I just think that just be careful with it. I think you can find better games. I like Carolina as the dog, but now I think they'll just be a lot of scoring. Uh, maybe you go over at 68-62. North Carolina, I think they'd put up a 40 in this game without a sweat. Baylor, probably going to put up a 40, but it's just hard with the third-string quarterback who's not played a lot. And without the running back, I'm sure the other running back will put up 150 yards. But I think if Baylor runs their normal system, and the quarterbacks had a month. I think this is probably over 62. The only way you can play this game, you can never play Baylor under. Uh, you can't play North Carolina under. You could possibly take Baylor in nine, but I think this is just an over game. Um, here's a good one. Auburn laying three to Memphis, over under 63. Coach has gone, but I don't know if he's coaching the last game. Uh, all I know is Paxton Lynch lit up Old Miss, and he's going to lit up old, old old Auburn here. Um, I think I like oh, uh, Memphis getting the nine points here. Auburn's terrible this year. They really don't have an offense. Their quarterback's terrible. I honestly just look at this game where I think Memphis wins the game, and I got nine points with the better team. Uh, Paxton Lynch, he'll be able, he'll put up points on Auburn. Um, take uh, Memphis and nine here. I don't see Auburn winning, and I got a live dog here. Memphis is a very good dog and beat Ole Miss. Just remember that. Um, I think I'll do the rest next week. Uh, really, I don't have a lock this week in the bowls. Uh, like I said, I'm close with Tulsa. Um, that's about it. I don't, I don't see. Uh, I don't know San Diego State, Cincinnati. Keels out, screws up the over. Uh, Indy Duke. Indy's a pretty explosive team, laying over under 67. Uh, Duke I like. I've made a lot of money with Duke, but this year they've been a little bit weaker. Their quarterback play has been bad. Uh, I can see that game possibly going over, possibly taking Duke in eight, but I don't really want to go against Indy. They've been pretty hot. Uh, I like that. I see a lot more over-unders in the bowls than I do teams because I'm looking at the teams now. Like with the what do you with the magnifying glass turned upside down or the the crystal ball instead of looking in it I'm looking through it and now I'm looking going huh UCLA Nebraska before I would try to pick the winner which is hard to do but it's not hard to pick they're both going to score a lot they both have decent defenses but you can score a lot on them. And I'm seeing that. It's like I said, Western Kentucky, South Florida had the had the over Tulane and or T Toledo Temple. And I'm seeing somebody oh, take Temple, lay the two. I'm going take the game under. I mean, two good defensive teams. And uh, you know, it should be a low score. It should have been 12 to nine. This is what I saw in the fourth quarter, but they got a little eruption there. But uh, I'm just looking at these games, <clears throat> over-unders, almost better, you know, Washington State, Miami. I don't know, do I take Miami and eight? Why? I don't know, but they both score a lot. So let's go over. So I got a lot more over-unders. I got a little bit more teams coming into the next week of it. 
One game that's interesting that I need to study a little bit more is LSU. I had them as a 10-point favorite over Texas Tech because uh, Vegas has them laying 7. Over or under a 73. One thing I noticed about Texas Tech, this kid from LSU is going to get, he could get 400 yards on them. I mean, I don't know how this game hits 73 because they're going to hand off the four and that. Yeah, he might get the ball 40 times. Texas Tech has no defense. They cannot stop the run. And they're just going to pound this guy and pound this guy. And I honestly don't see LSU, how they don't win the game minus one with this running back. I mean, one thing we know about LSU, they can rush the passer, and they got great secondary. Patrick Peterson, Honey Badger. I was really sad to see Honey Badger get hurt, too. I love Arizona this year. But uh, one thing we know is they have secondary. I'll kind of put a reference of this game versus the West. When LSU played Western Kentucky, and they beat them like 48-20, to 20, I think Western Kentucky's offense is better than Texas Tech's. So let's say that. They have a better quarterback. Let's say that. I know Mahomes is good. I like Doherty better. I think Western Kentucky, I think it's the same game. They couldn't stop LSU, who just pounded them and ran and ran and ran. And, uh, you know, and Western Kentucky put up 20, which is very good against LSU at LSU for a team like Western Kentucky from the smaller conference. But I'm going to have to go right off of that. Um, I'm, I'm going to take LSU minus one. I just talked myself into it. You're on the spot, folks. This is how I do it. What you do is you look for the common opponent. Now, if I look for the common opponent of Texas Tech, Oklahoma killed them, who runs the ball fairly well. Um, I think Baylor, uh, Baylor was the one. There was one game they scored a, a thousand. I think it was Oklahoma State. But basically, Texas Tech's defense is terrible. But Fournette, between Fournette carrying the ball 40 times for 400 yards in this game, and LSU secondary and pass rush getting all over Mahomes, I just don't see <clears throat> he's going to turn the ball over two or three times. They're going to sack him four or five times. He can't always pass the ball down on not on LSU secondary. Take LSU minus one. I'm posting it right now. Love that game. Not a lot, but I'm posting it. It's just hard. I just don't see the lock. I have one lock. It's the 50-unit lock. I haven't talked about it. But at this point, uh, it's just hard to lock these things. Probably I would have locked the, the Western Kentucky over because I love them. Where's my other? Bowling Green, Georgia Southern. Not locking it, but that probably will be a high score. Baylor, North Carolina would have been a lock. Memphis, they'll score a lot, but Auburn doesn't score. Um, one other game, keep an eye on old Mississippi State against North Carolina State. I like Dak Prescott. He's a senior. It's his last game. North Carolina State's not particularly strong defensively. they got a good offense. I'm debating between taking it over. It looks like the over is 61. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see what do we got. Memphis State. Uh, I don't have it. Uh, I, I show it as a 61. I think that goes over 50, uh, 55 pretty easily. Uh, and I think I like Old Mississippi State. Virtually even. Uh, Prescott's not going to lose. They're used to playing defenses like Old Miss and Alabama and, and uh, LSU. They're not going to have a problem with North Carolina State's defense. They don't have one. They have a pretty decent offense, North Carolina State. They got a, one of these Florida transfers. It's funny, they're, all these Florida transfers, the guy in that Louisiana Tech, there's one here in North Carolina State. They suck at Florida, and they go to these other places, and they start lighting it up. So it just shows you how weak Florida is on theirs, um, on their offense, that these quarterbacks that are really good can't seem to play. So that's another one, uh, Old Mississippi State. I think, I think you can probably play the game over 55 is probably 
uh, a good one. Uh, a note on the Boise State Northern Illinois game. Boise's laying nine over under 56. Northern Illinois has lost their first two quarterbacks out, gone. They're either on their third or fourth, I don't remember, and he's not very good. Can't play this game over. Northern Illinois has got a very good defense. <coughs> Boise, <coughs> since Kellen Moore has been gone, has been very disappointing. So this could be an under just because Northern Illinois, to me, is like the 49ers. Good defense, no quarterback. So I think when you're looking at that, you can probably go under in this game. But one note I must make, I've been a big a big uh, observer of Kellen Moore. He finally got to play for the Cowboys. He's starting this week. Beware of the Cowboys with Kellen Moore. Um, he's a winner, and he's a good quarterback. I don't care that he throws the ball left-handed or right-handed. Um, I, I see Dallas winning this game, and I know I'm talking pro here, but uh, it just goes to show you I, I think Kellen Moore – has always been very good at what he did at Boise. And he blew out Georgia, so it's not like they play New Mexico every game. Uh, I think he's poised. I think he knows how to read the play. Gets to the line of scrimmage. He knows where he's going with the ball. I know he threw a couple interceptions in the game uh, last week, but I think once he gets some reps with Des Bryant uh, and finally gets to play, he's outstanding quarterback. I think you'll see him challenging Romo next year uh, and with him a quarterback uh, they'll definitely be a much better better team so I think with their defense they've gone from an under team great defense with no quarterback to where I'm hesitating about going under with them this week in fact just taking Dallas with the points anyway it's just a Callum Moore thing the quarterback always makes the difference you always buy a very good quarterback, a quarterback that's a winner, you always bet on. That's the key to betting. It's the key to football. The better the quarterback, the more money you make. All right, everybody, this is Howard the Teaser King, www.teaserking.com. This is the week one of the bowls. I'll be doing a second one. Um, I'll be back next week. Huh. I might have to do the second one now. All right, everybody, have a great holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, good luck, and again, I'm here to make you money. I do sell my picks, but I don't mind giving out some of them. I didn't give out any locks, um, and that's really it. If you buy from me, I could have given out five locks and you wouldn't have known. I don't call them, but uh, I do try to give out good picks that are winners so everybody can make money. So you can still buy the locks and you can still buy the bowls because there's still a lot more that I don't tell you every game and every hat and you don't know how much to play it for. So uh, that's part of the key of betting teasers. All right, everybody, have a great uh, holiday season. Please email me if you want. Um, the locks, uh, just $100 a week. Uh, one gentleman asked me if they were guaranteed and I was like, this is football betting. I can't, I can't say for sure they're going to win. I've been hot. I'd say 45 and 4. I don't think, uh, you know, you should worry about that, but I can't guarantee that for sure, 100% they're going to win. Uh, percentage is going to win. If you play 10 of my games, you're going to win, but I can't guarantee, you know, a couple of locks that, yeah, they're for sure going to win. And I don't know what you're betting, and I don't know. I put my locks in three or four teasers, so I don't know how you're doing it. But, I can't guarantee my games, but all I can do is predict them, and I'm pretty pretty good at that. All right, everybody, happy holidays, and uh, good luck to everybody.